at what age do you start to develop uh, the Mormo persona? When did this start? Um, it start. I, I want to say it started in 2014, and um, that's when, or no, not 2014, 2004, and yeah. uh, that's when I met my good bro, Magic Matt. And uh, we ended up starting a zine together called Mormo Zine. And um, I created the costume and makeup to uh, when I was promoting punk rock concerts. Okay, so was this like a. Let's go back a little bit, I guess. So you. You, you had been promoting punk rock concerts at this point. When did that start? Around 2014. I had a job as an actor in a haunted house um, in Delmar. Or you mean, or you mean 2004? Or? Yeah, 2004. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Um, I, had, I had an acting job in a haunted house um, in Del Mar, and that's where I met my good bro, Magic Matt. And uh, he showed me the punk rock scene. I, 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 I knew it from like movies and stuff about punk rock. But he start he he was in a band, and I used to go to his shows and record with. Um, I'd record his shows on onto cassette tape and stuff, and um, and uh, and so and then. Like he taught me how how the how to be a punk rock worker and stuff, and that's where I learned how to book concerts and um and then created the outfit and makeup. Just I just thought it would be more fun if I dressed up, you know. Right, so, and I know I know zines, especially with the Riot Girls, all that stuff has a has a place in the punk scene. So I'm guessing that's where you heard about zines. No, I knew about zines in um, Missouri when I was in high school. When I was in high school, I had a hobby of mailing away for things. I would request things by mail and, and try and get a bunch of stuff in my mailbox. And um, I bought a copy of Fact Sheet 5, and uh, that was just a big catalog of zines you could mail away for. And so... I was when I was in high school. I was bailing away for zines and reading zines, and then um, when I moved back to San Diego, I learned how to make them at the San Diego Comic Con. I mm -hmm. took a I, I went to a panel about self publishing, and uh, that's where I learned how to publish a zine. And okay, so. You're taking all this previous experience. You're going in. You got some punk rock promotion under your belt. <clears throat> and then you start your own zine, the Mormo zine, I think it's, I believe it was uh, titled. And uh, yeah. what was that? What did that zine consist of? What was it about? It was mostly punk rock. It was me and two partners. And uh, we all contributed like show reviews and um, pictures from shows and like political stuff and um, that that was like when the war on terror was going and at one point the zine was kind of a protest to that war. Okay, and as, and this is also when the uh, horror host Mormo uh, starts to become uh, conjured up, right? Around the same time. Um, yes and no. Like I said, I, I, I started to dress up and wear makeup when I would promote shows. And so I wasn't like recording myself or talking about horror movies or anything. I would just stand at the door and, um, take money and check IDs and stuff and mm -hmm. in makeup with costume. So, uh, I guess, I've never been a traditional horror host and I've kind of done my own thing and tried to reinvent it a little bit. 
So I, I was playing a costumed character uh, back okay. then in 2004, but um, I wasn't strictly exactly what you would call a horror host, I guess.